The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 10, verses 16 to 23. Jesus instructed the twelve as follows. Remember, I am sending you out like sheep among wolves. So be cunning as serpents, and yet as harmless as doves. Beware of men. They will hand you over to Sanhedrins and scourge you in their synagogues. You will be dragged before governors and kings for my sake to bear witness before them and the pagans. But when they hand you over, do not worry about how to speak or what to say. What you are to say will be given to you when the time comes, because it is not you who will be speaking, the Spirit of your Father will be speaking in you. Brother will betray brother to death, and the father his child. Children will rise against their parents and have them put to death. You will be hated by all men on account of my name. But the man who stands firm to the end will be saved. If they persecute you in one town, take refuge in the next. And if they persecute you in that, take refuge in another. I tell you solemnly, you will not have gone the round of the towns of Israel before the Son of Man comes. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Truth is bitter. Truth brings trials. Truth brings persecutions. Truth brings enmity. Truth brings hatred. Truth brings less friends. Truth will kill you. Dear brothers and sisters, if you stand by truth, you will have to face trials. You will have to face difficulties. Jesus is the example of this truth. He himself is the truth. He lived the truth and he proclaimed the truth. This is an invitation for you and for me, a call to live by this truth and to live this truth in life. God sees that the people of Israel are scattered. They have made idols of their own mind, of their own likings, and they are worshipping the God who is within the limits of their mind. God is inviting them to throw away all these idols of falsehood, the idols that cannot save them, and says, return back I am ready to embrace you. Hosea is trying to prepare the people to return back to God. We see in the Gospel reading today, Jesus is preparing us, you and me, to be truthful and to face the consequences of truthfulness. To be alert, to be sensible, 
to be people with common sense. And what happens when they try out to destroy you? How you shouldn't give yourself to them so easily. You try to escape because you have the truth. You don't so easily give yourself into the hands of the falsehood to kill you. If they trouble you in this town, go to the next. If they even trouble you, go to the other town. But the time will come where the Lord will be there. You will see the Lord and the Lord's hand. When you are imprisoned, when you are held, don't worry. Your father will let you know what to speak. You do not have to prepare yourself mentally. God will guide you. The God in whose name you live life of truth and truthfulness, the God of truth will guide you in a right manner, in a right path. Therefore, Jesus is preparing us to accept persecutions because truth will lead you to heaven. Truth will bring you good life. Truth will bring you life to eternity. Truth will protect you. My dear brothers and sisters, let us accept the word of God today and accept truth as the motto of our living. Let us live by truth and let us help others to live in truth. Amen.